Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. In this video, we are going to write a credit card validation algorithm using SQL queries. When you type in your credit card number to make an online purchase, you will get an error message if you input an incorrect credit card number. So how does the application know whether the number you typed in is valid or invalid? It is based on an algorithm known as the LUN algorithm that can validate the credit card number. Now, credit card number nowadays can contain generally 14 to 16 digits, but this number of digits can vary and all the numbers indicate some codes. So the first six digits on your credit card number indicate the issuer identification number. So it basically tells you the institution that issued the card and based on these numbers, you can have some logic to identify whether the card is a Visa card or a MasterCard or an Amex or so on. So whatever digits appear from the seventh position are the account holders number. So that is the person's account number. And the last digit is a checksum digit or a check digit. Now the steps of the LUN algorithm used to validate the credit card number are simple. In the first step, we have to extract every other digit from the right hand side of the number. For example, in the number shown on the screen, the digits would be 1, 9, 7, 5 and so on. So these digits that we extracted from the right, so the even number digits from the right, you have to multiply them by 2 and you will get the results as you can see here. Now you can observe that some of them are single digit results like 8, 2, 2, 6 and some of them are double digits. So 10, 14, 18, they are double digit numbers that we got after multiplying by the original numbers by 2. So if it is a double digit number, you need to sum up the digits of that number. So 18 becomes 1 plus 8, which is 9. Now we sum up all these numbers and using the logic that if it is a double digit number, we sum up the digits. We add them to the remaining numbers. So the odd numbered digits from the right. And then we come up with a final sum. Then we check if this final sum is divisible by 10. So we do a mod 10. If we, it is divisible by 10, that means the remainder is zero. Then it is a valid credit card number. If it is not divisible by 10, then it is not a valid credit card number. So this is the algorithm in brief. Now we are going to implement the same algorithm, the same steps using our SQL queries. So here I have just defined the same credit card number as was shown in the example on the screen earlier. So now we are going to perform the first step, which is to extract the even number digits from the right side of the number. So first, let's just write a SQL code wherein we will extract the even numbered characters and odd number characters from a string. Now I'm going to declare a variable to indicate the start position from which I'm going to extract the numbers. So if we are going to extract the integer numbers, I'm going to say that my start position is going to be 2. So I'm going to extract from the second position and then I'm going to keep on adding 2 to come up with the positions 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. And then I'm going to extract the characters at that position. So to extract the numbers, all the even numbered digits or all the odd number digits, we need to use a recursive CD because we need to go loop through all the numbers or all the characters in the input string. So that is where a recursive CDE is useful. So we're going to define a CDE as. So if you know about recursive CDEs, they have two parts. The one is the anchor that determines the starting the first row of the output and then the recursive part of the query. If you need more details on how a recursive CDE works, then check out the link above. We have already done a video on this topic. So for the anchor, I'm just going to include my position so that we know exactly what's happening in our query. And then we are going to define a substring. And we are going to extract from this start position. So the start position was 2 because we want to extract the even numbered characters. And we just need to extract one character. So we are going to extract that one character. And I'm just going to define it as variable one. 
and then we write union all to combine it with the recursive part of the query and in this case we are going to add a 2 to this variable that will keep on incrementing by 2 and then again we are going to write our substring and extract it from that second position and just one character as var1 and since this is a recursive CTE we are going to reference the same CTE that we just defined above from recursive CTE and then we have to provide an exit condition for the CTE otherwise it will go into an infinite loop so var start plus 2 so the value of this variable is less than or equal to length of the string okay so to understand whether our logic is working correctly or not let's just do a select from this recursive cd that we just created and let's see whether it's extracting all the even numbered digits we need to terminate the declare statement with a semicolon execute it. and here are our results so you can now see that it extracted all the even numbered characters from the string now, if you need to extract the even numbered characters, the only thing you need to change here is you need to change your start position. So if you change this 2 to 1 and execute this, you will see that now it has extracted all the even, uh, all the odd numbered characters. So 4, 1, 1 and so on till this last odd numbered characters, which is also a 1. So now we know how to extract the odd numbered positions and or, or how... So now we know how to extract the odd numbered and the even numbered characters. And since we need both of them, I'm going to declare another variable. And this will be 1. And let's just say start here, even and start odd. And I'm just going to change here to start even. Start even. And I'm going to call it as even so that I know that this CTE that I just created is going to extract the even number digits. Okay, so I'm now I'm just going to copy this part and create another recursive CTE which will extract the odd numbered characters. Since I'm creating multiple CTEs, I do not need this with statement again. I can just separate the multiple CTEs with a comma. And now I'm going to call it as recursive CTE odd and replace this with O start position for the odd start position and call this recursive CDE here. So now I have two CDEs. One is going to extract the even numbers and one is going to extract the odd numbered digits. Now remember what we said in the logic. What we need to do is start extracting from the right hand side. So if you want to extract not the even number digits starting from your left position, you want to extract them from here. So you need basically one, nine and so on. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reverse the string. So if we reverse this string, it's going to achieve the same purpose. It's going to extract the characters from the right side. So to reverse it, a simple function we can use, which is just reverse and reverse. And let's just do a select again, just to see that it's working correctly from CTE even. Execute a query till this part and check again. So now it has extracted from the right hand side. So the first even numbered character is one, then you have nine and so on. And the last even numbered characters that it has extracted is four. So this is how we can extract from the right hand side instead of the default left hand side. So I'm going to put the reverse here as well where we are extracting the odd numbered characters and this is extract odd numbered digits now when we extract the even numbered digits there's another calculation that needs to be applied which means we have to multiply the extracted even number digits by 2 so here we have to multiply this by 2 and here as well let's run this part again and now you can see that the numbers have been multiplied by 2 
So now we have completed the above steps wherein we have extracted the even number digits, multiplied them by two, and now we have extracted the odd number digits. Now we are going to calculate a sum. Before calculating the sum, we have another condition that if it is a double digit number, after multiplying with two in the steps above, then we have to sum the digits for that number. So to implement that logic, I'm going to define another CTE, CTE digits as select. And now I'm going to define a case condition. So if it is a double digit number, which means it is greater than nine in value. So whatever variable value we get, where one is greater than nine, then we are going to sum up the digits of that number. So left where one, one plus, and since it can only be a two digit number, we can use left and right. So now I'm going to extract the character from the right. So now I have extracted the two digits from the double digit number and I have just added them up. And if it is not greater than nine, which means it's less than or equal to nine, then we just leave the number as it is. And as let's say digit from, and this needs to be done on the even digit numbers. So because of CTE even, and I'm just going to combine it with all the digits that we extracted from the odd numbered CTE. So recursive CTE odd. And we missed the when here. So let's add the when. And now let's select all the numbers that are in a digit CTE. So let's execute this now. And we see that we have 16 rows for the 16 numbers. But the double digit numbers, so these were the even number digits and these were the odd number digits, but we said that we need to sum up the double digit numbers, but that has not happened. It has just given the same number back. And why has it not happened? Because here we have just extracted the substring. We have extracted the left first character and the right first character and just used plus which SQL Server has interpreted as a concatenation character. So it has just concatenated the digits back instead of mathematically adding them up. So what you need to do here is you need to cast these digits as integer after extracting them through a substring function or any string manipulation function. And now if we execute the same query again, you will see that it has summed up the double digit numbers. So now we have all the digits and the only steps that are remaining now for us is to sum up all these digits. So sum of digit from CTE digits is going to give me some number. And we said we had to divide it by 10 and check the remainder. So for that, we have to say mod 10. It's also known as the mod 10 algorithm and the mod symbol is a person symbol you just say mod 10 like this let's execute this again you see zero if you get zero that means it's completely divisible by 10 then it is a valid credit card number so we are going to add again a case statement saying case when sum of digit 10 divided by 10 sum of digit divided by 10 the remainder is zero then valid else invalid and as we can say check tc valid so any column name we can give so now if you execute you will see you will get whether the credit card number is valid or invalid now let's just go back up and let's change this number and see so let's change it to let's say seven execute and you will see that it's an invalid number. Now you can further refine this logic. This is the basic algorithm to check whether the credit card number is valid or not. If you need to identify whether it is a Visa credit card or a MasterCard credit card, then you can add further logic based on these first six digits and determine based on the logic shown on the screen, whether it, what kind of or which, which is the provider for that credit card.
So this was not as complicated as it sounded. I hope the video was useful. If it was, then please do not forget to comment, like, share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.